Hey Aquarius, welcome to your August reading. Let's see what we have for you. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. As always, I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I'm using and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box, never in the comments, guys, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. It's time to disconnect from the world. Codependency. Um, here I feel like, okay, you're probably holding on to people because you care about them, right? The divine's asking you, look, um, step away when you see red flags. Retreat. If we do this in the beginning, it doesn't lead to bigger problems further down the line. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, whatever your addictions may be here, but you're being asked to step back the minute you see red flags. Don't, um, you know, make excuses for people who aren't making excuses for themselves or don't, you know, forgive somebody who isn't asking for forgiveness. The signs are cautioning you here. We've got to recognize our own behavior as well, right? So if somebody is, you know, giving you those red flags, take a look at them. The divine showing you them for... A reason right and it's saying look step back from this situation it could be love money family friends um, somebody you know that it's always these sort of energies because maybe we let family and friends get away with more than we would a stranger right so this could be why it's saying it's a codependent energy um, we sort of build relationships where we're going backwards and forwards with each other and you know we say oh that's just them but when we're trying to change and we're trying to manifest in our, things in our life, we've got to step back and listen to the signs, not just the good ones. And look what we're starting with, the tower. Um, if you don't step back, the divine brings in a tower. So how can we put this into everyday life? So if we're in a relationship and we're like, that person, they're up to something. And, you know, we don't follow through with it or we keep forgiving them when they're not even asking to be forgiven. The divine will step in with a tower and break down this situation because you're not loving yourself. This, the other person's not loving themselves. Um, and the divine's asking you to look at these relationships now. Some of you um, are seeing, like if you've been single, single a long time um, and there's nobody on your mind here, and I mean nobody coming to mind, be honest with yourself that nobody is coming to your mind. Um, then I would say that you're being shown certain signs and symbols here that somebody's coming in to shake your life up, okay? Let's see. Six of Pentacles, there's that somebody returning the energy to you that you're putting out. So if you planted good seeds, we can expect good things back. This person would come in to um, change your life. People fear the tower, but... Usually when we're praying for change, just because it doesn't happen how we want it to happen, doesn't mean that we don't get what we wish for, right? This is, um, could be things or people leaving your life um, so that you can receive your blessings here because let's say we're praying for an ever long life lasting relationship and we're in a relationship where somebody isn't treating us very good. The divine says, wish granted. Okay, and we'll break down that relationship. It'll come to an end and you'll say, well, I didn't want all these bad things to happen to me. But no, you prayed for good things to happen to you. So the bad stuff has to be removed, right? Um, so this is a lot of good energy coming towards you with this change. So it's like, I guess we could say blessing in disguise, but this is like something that might have even hurt you so deeply, um, but brings your biggest blessing with that six of pentacles or either brought you to your service to humanity. It can be an ending of a job um, and you're like, I can't believe I lost my job. I was praying for a pay rise. Well, maybe you wasn't going to get a pay rise in that job. So the divine removed you from that job there. Two of wands. Yeah. So there's this splitting of the paths here. Um, maybe even two people going their separate ways and, you know, feeling like, well, I wanted to get married, but actually we went our separate ways. I was expecting this love to last a lifetime and I was praying it would. Um, your prayers was answered here because it's either this person 
um, needed to realize that what they're doing is toxic. So whatever they was doing to you, I'm not going to judge. There's a general read in so many different situations. Maybe you just kept forgiving little things and then it's sort of breaking down your soul, your spirit, right? Um, like to just give in and accept whatever they're giving and thinking this is as good as it's going to get. And the divine saying, no, this is not as, as good as it gets. You know, stand up for yourself here. Um, so what may start out as the worst feeling in your life ends up being the biggest blessing in your life. It leads you, it sort of gets you back on track with what you're destined to be, making you understand how great you are. Six of Pentacles, it's like, I got out of that relationship or, you know, got away from family and friends that was no good for me. And I'm now receiving all these blessings because, you, you know, what we're around, we become. So if we're around negative energy, um, people often pay attention to the signs, but maybe translate them into what they want to see. So it could be like, I'm seeing 1111. It means such positive things. I read it online. Um, but if you're in a situation, 1111 um, mean, is meaning is wake up. Um, so you might have started seeing 1111 before or after even a breakup here with that two of wands, the hermit. So... This might have led some of you here to become a divine mentor or find a divine mentor here um, with the hermit. It sent you soul searching for more to this life. There's just more and you know it, you feel it now, you would connected. And it's wonderful to have so much to give, but you might be questioning that I don't have anybody to give it to, especially if you're single, single, like I mentioned in the beginning. Um, so during August here, I guess as we get to Virgo season as well, um, it'll be a great time for you guys to make money. So if you're struggling with money, um, better energy's coming. You'll be working and getting, you know, what you deserve, what you've put out. Um, so here with the Hermit, it's saying, look, um, it's all shaping you into who you want to be, who you are destined to become. This is your life path. This is your destiny. Um, when you're following your highest self, that light in front of the hermit, you are following this path that has been laid out before you. It's like you're seeing sort of breadcrumbs uh, signs here like, okay, when I know I'm on the right track, I'll see this number. When I know I'm off track, I see that number, right? So it's being able to recognize um, what the signs are telling you and what you're feeling at that moment. It's okay to stop reevaluate even with the two of wands what direction you're, you're taking yourself in right um and this is how we avoid like major disruptions in our life and them feeling bad when we take control of you know what's happening in our life okay the seven of cups so when i was talking about it's okay to pause um and things to even come to an end um the seven of cups here you might be asking what's real and you know, what are my, you know, expectations? What am I manifesting into my life? Somebody is like very sp on a very spiritual path, but almost confused about what they're or where they're being led to. And it's okay to, you know, find out along the way, right? Life is about that journey, not about the destination. So it's okay to not know everything and maybe be confused about some things. I feel like with the tower the divine sent in that confusion on purpose or if you are confused about the messages that you're receiving like I don't know if they're good or bad that is where you would need that spiritual mentor some of you will be following your dreams um you know like saying when I was a kid I really wanted to be this um you are going to go for that now it's sort of like well I have nothing else to lose I'm gonna go for my dreams here and others of you, where you're seeing the signs, or it's like if you're having nightmares here, um, they're trying to warn you about something. Six of Wands. So this is some people and things being attracted to you, um, attracted to your success now that, you know, if you're changing career and things like that, your soul family being attracted and being called towards you, okay? So if you are saying, I started this job, it was my dream job, uh, it feels like my divine calling, but 
where will I find the people? Um, they'll be attracted towards you there, okay? This is overcoming spiritual lessons, um, overcoming challenges. Um, so everything you've overcome till now has made you stronger, right? This is what I'm seeing in the Six of Wands. It doesn't mean that you haven't faced challenges just because you're strong. They are what made you strong. And maybe there's that recognition with that now with the sixes here. So what you've been putting out, you deserve to get back. The divine is seeing this. Um, so when we ask for change and you're like, I just asked for me to win the lottery. Um, I asked for a certain amount of money. I ended up with none. <laughs> I ended up with losing my job. The divine was trying to put you on the right track or I ended up losing my relationship here because um, of a third party. I knew they was cheating and I forgave them, but they still went and cheated on me again or they still left me or they didn't pick me or whatever. Uh, the thing is here, it's telling me you didn't pick yourself and that's what the divine wanted. Um, this is why you feel left out in the cold. Ace of Cups here. Um, you find that love for yourself by walking away from things and people who are not respecting you or their energy is off in some sort of way. By noticing those red flags straight away, this is how you love yourself, right? Because some people might say, how do I love myself? I hear that all over. I hear it all the time. Um, love yourself first, right? How you love yourself is by walking away when you are seeing those red flags so that your cup doesn't run on empty. You end up giving and giving and giving. Um, so, and I say that because it makes eight cups, so we can walk away. Somebody may have walked away from you towards another person. Um, you may have even told yourself that it's because the other person's more attractive or anything like that. Somebody walked away because they had a baby with somebody else. But here I feel it was, it's nothing to do with, um, you know, how you looked or anything like that. You kept forgiving a person when you was too good for them. Okay, this Ace of Cups is coming to you. We can see these great things coming from what might seem like bad things here. Five of Wands, you just have to fight for it. And understand that um, these are small hurdles. And Mars will really give you that boost this fiery season at the beginning of August will give you that boost. Um, and then as we go into Virgo season, you'll see it more sort of cemented, the more down to earth, more realistic, more in front of your face. So, you know, when we have to put energy behind what we're manifesting and we have to go after our dreams, even though we can't see the goal, you'll start to see it materializing with the six of pentacles as we go towards the end of August here. Three of wands, there you go, your ship's coming in. So rather than tell yourself, you know, it's not coming or, um, you know, oh, I seen a bad omen or something like that, recognize the signs for what they are because just as easy as we can recognize um, signs for being positive, we can recognize them for being negative. So, you know, make sure what you're speaking is good. Um, I feel this fiery energy for you that... Um, it brings you to the positive in the end. It's what helps you get over these final um, challenges, hurdles here. Five of Springs, that's a five of wands again. Um, opposing goals arise from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. Um, some of you here, you're going to find um, other people not believing in what you say or saying, oh, that person, they're out there, they're weird. It's absolutely fabulous to be weird. <laughs> six of springs again, uh, six of wands there. It's quite normal because there are two tarot decks here that the cards will repeat. Uh, wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards and success and public recognition. Uh, some of you here are drawing a huge crowd towards you. Um, and of course, not everybody in the crowd is going to agree with you. This is a five of wands. So this is opposing opinions. But as long as you don't deter from your own goals and you know your own dreams, you'll be fine. Manage your resources wisely. And this is because that five of pentacles energy, um, money may be tough. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. 
help out those who are less fortunate there. I would say I would do things for maybe the homeless or families in need. There's a lot going on. We know we're getting to a better stage of world events, but there's still a lot of people out there who need your help and support. Now, help and support it doesn't always have to be financial, right? It can be somebody to talk to. And as I say that, um, the only air card we had was the Nine of Swords here. And it says, unfound in fear, focusing on the worst case scenario, allowing fear to grow out of proportion to the actual problem. Um, I think we've been over most of that, that if you allow it, it will sort of manifest in your mind first and then in your life. If you was worried about, you know, somebody cheating on you and things like that, you had to step up, retreat and look after yourself, not hold on to somebody um, because you love them. You're supposed to love yourself and, you know, first and foremost um, and in loving yourself is recognizing those red flags. I feel for some when this new Ace of Cups, this new love offer comes that you're actually waiting for and wanting to receive, you have this underlying fear that things will maybe play out the same way, um, that you will become too attached to them, that you'll fall in love with them and they'll hurt you again. And this is why um, when we've done healing, we still want to remain on our spiritual path. We don't want to say, hey, everything's great today. Because when we start out on the spiritual path and we're putting out the good effort and we say, well, why is the good stuff happening to that person when I'm doing good work and bad stuff's happening to me? Well, maybe that person planted good seeds way before and just because they're doing bad now, they're still being rewarded, right? Maybe you did something that somebody else classed as bad or hurt somebody else and you're getting your karma for that now. And then the good work that you're doing now, you'll soon receive with the three of wands, the blessings for the good work you've been putting in probably over the last three years here, three to five years, you might have been putting in a lot of work. Just don't fall off track with um, that spiritual growth, okay? Because it's with the two of wands up here, once we're on the spiritual path and we're feeling great and like, yeah, my life's going great. We don't want to again get to a place where are we going to choose, you know, helping humanity or are we going to take some red flags and ignore them because I want to stay comfortable. In the long run, you will not stay comfortable. We'll have this tower come in, the divine, and it will be reset. Um, so always remember to love yourself first. There is this love offer coming. I feel like multiple people are attracted to you, but maybe you're not attracted to them uh, with the five of pentacles there. So you might be turning it down. Um, a few offers or guys, I feel like you might be mistaking somebody flirting with you as argumentative with the five of wands there. So just remember what we put out, we get back know that your blessings are coming and they will come a lot sooner. Good luck, guys.